Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are heading to the shop and we are going to be putting wheel spacers on the truck. I know I've told some of you guys that I was going to do this a while back, um, but these are some stuff that came up I haven't had the chance and I finally got off work early. Um, it's a Friday afternoon, so yeah, let's head out to the shop, let's get this done and I'm uh, so pumped to see what this looks like. For those of you that don't know my truck, uh, my truck is currently on 20 by 12 Moto Metals. Uh, My truck is currently on 20 by 12 moto, moto metals on three inch spacers and today we're going to be stacking three by two inch spacers um, just to give it a little wider look and I know a lot of people already teasing me about when that front end is going to go out but I'm honestly not worried about it. Um, I like the way it looks so yeah let's get out here to the shop let's get these put on and uh, let's, see what the, let's see what it looks like. here to the shop and we need to move these totes um, before we can pull the truck in here so yeah let's get this door open and let's get right to it So I got the truck back in and man does this thing look wide. As you can see, already a decent amount of offset. So yeah, let's get these spacers on. Get this thing jacked up, get these spacers put on and uh, let's see how it looks. Alright, so we got that wheel off and um, I'm going to let you guys take a look here at what the 3 inch spacer looks like. Now, here we have another 2 inch spacer. This is going to be wild. Alright, so we got the spacers on and we are ready to go on with the wheel. But I just want to take a look at this really quick. Just just look at how how big that is. I don't think you guys get how big that is. But trust me, um, you'll definitely understand what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, you'll see what it looks like when the wheels are on for sure. So yeah, let's just hurry up and uh, get them put on there really quick and see what this looks like. All right, so the wheel is on. It is all tightened down. It's good to go. Before I put the center cap on, I want to take a look at the inside of this just to see um, show you guys just how deep it is down inside of there. Um, I can put my whole hand in there um, Yeah, definitely good. Um, can't wait to see what this looks like unfortunately There was a little bit of a miscommunication and I'm short one wheel spacer for the rear on that side um, So I need another two inch wheel spacer not a big deal, but um I'll probably get that put on here sometime the rest of this weekend. Um, but yeah, let's get this finished up and let's see what it looks like. All right, so here before I put the rear one on, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like um, before and after. Um, so for anybody that's out there thinking about putting wheel spaces on, um, number one, definitely you should do it. Um, and two, this is here is kind of what you should expect, especially if you're gonna go stacking them. All right, so here it is with the front one. Um, let's see if you can see the angle. You can see how much more that front one sticks out than the back one. Um, this front tire here, the body line is about in line 
with this first set of tread right here. Um, as you can see that, whereas the back one is drawn in more. Um, so yeah. This thing is literally nuts. This thing is going to be crazy wide. So that's all for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video um, and stay tuned for the next one. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.